for our first notification button to be Wheelock MBG6-24, this device will be doing code 3. For our smoke detector, we will be reading our D273TH smoke and heat detector. For our second notification button to be Potter SH1224R, this device is set on 75 candela and will be doing code 3. We still have the Simplex 1298-906 test switch. For our pull stations, we have two pull stations. On the left, we have an FCI MS6, and on the right, we have a Notifier LNG1R. We will not be testing the duct detector in today's test. All right, to start off today's test, I'm going to pull the Notifier pull station. Here we go. Three, two, one. For our next activation today, I'm going to activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smoke. So here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. System is pretty loud. Especially with that bell. Come on. Maybe it needs a little bit more. Should be enough. There we go. Did you learn the song? I will now go ahead and reset the pull stations. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the flap back up. I'm going to insert my key. I'm going to turn the key. I'm just going to close it back into place. Lock it back up. And now I'm going to go in the main firearm control panel. And I'm going to hit system reset. Alright, to finish off today's test, I'm going to pull the FCI pull station. Here we go. Three, two, one. Any alarm is done. I will now go ahead and reset the pool stations all I'm going to do. So I'm going to Bring this flap back up. I'm going to insert my key. I'm going to turn it. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to turn it. There we go. And now I'm going to go in the main firearm control panel. And I'm going to hit system reset. All right, guys. I thank you for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. I will see you in the next video.